Hello YouTube and welcome to first look of a game called Dawn Gate. This is another MOBA that I'm going to take a look at and this game is actually by Electronic Arts so it has a pretty uh, well developed gameplay and lots and lots of stuff to do. So these are the characters you can choose from, so not as many as LOL or, not, or Dota 2 uh, but they are divided into, into their... basically they divide them for you um, in terms of actual gameplay and their strengths. So these are the carries, bruisers, mages, assassins, tanks and supports. And if let me just do my math here, a uh, total number of characters is at mm, uh, mm, mm, 30. There's, uh, there's 30 characters to choose from. So this is still a beta test and you can actually sign up for it and get in. And so um, I believe it's open beta right now. Um, one of the advantages that this game has is that there's something called loadouts and music. There's also music. Loadouts are basically these things that you do before the game starts to make a character stand out. So for example, one of my loadouts right now is it gives me a little bit of health, it also gives me a little bit of attack power, and then a little bit of haste. You can choose a lot of different loadouts. Some of them you have to pay for with actual um, in-game currency that you use real money for. Uh, I have not done that yet and I'm probably not gonna do that, but I um, I have assigned a few other loadouts. I, I can actually change some of these. Maybe I and actually in the game, once you start playing, you'll get some of these uh, little rune thingies that you can include in your loadouts. And this is some of the rewards that you get at the end of the game. So for example, one right here, Duelist, that's what I got in my last game. And that gives me basic attacks, apply stacking mark to the primary target, then deal 5 to 14 bonus damage. Okay, it doesn't fit in here because it needs more space. I can put Berserker though. And then I can put stuff in the Berserker. So I don't have enough uh, runes right now to fit this in, so I'm actually going to discard this because it was set up pretty well before. But this gives your character lots of different varieties, uh, lots of ways of doing it, um, or in other words, lots of ways of customizing your character to make uh, him or her a little bit stronger than some other characters, or possibly give it a specific strength that you want. So these are loadouts. And these are just skins that you unlock and they basically change the appearance in the game. There's also lore and I think that's basically just uh, different news from the game and different um, announcements. And of course the leaderboard where you can find out how well you're doing, how well everyone else is doing and how much you suck or how much I suck probably because I'm sure I'm somewhere on the bottom. Alright, so let's do this. Let's play the first game. I'm going to start my game and show you what it's like. There's three choices when you choose. You can obviously play solo where you play against uh, um, other opponents, but you're playing uh, as a loner. And if you have a group of friends that you want to play with, you do this. And then custom is just a custom game that you create with people that you know. And usually the games actually don't take very long. Like for example, this right here took me about five seconds. So it's a super fast matching thingy. You did the characters I can choose from. So I'm going to go for someone I haven't really tried yet. So for example, I don't know who this guy is. I'm gonna try this guy, and I've um, I've been playing different characters, just trying them out because there's a, actually a lot of. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna choose this guy. This looks more badass. Um, I I've seen a lot of people play as this person, so he was pretty badass. So a lot of these characters are very different, very unique, but there's only 30 to choose from, so not as much choice. Uh, you can choose different roles, which is diff this is one of the main differences between LOL and this game, is that you can actually choose your preferred role. So you can be a gladiator, and this will give you bonuses if you focus on killing other people. Tactician is if you like to harass and um, control territory. Hunter is if you like killing jungle animals. And Predator is if you want to focus on killing the, um, the shapers, which are basically the little bots. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to be a Predator. Master cut vexes head meat until words unjumble. And that's it. I finalized my selection. I don't really know how to play as this person thing with spikes, but I'll find out. So some of these people are saying this is their first game, meaning that I'll probably feel comfortable because this is also my first game with this character. They don't really know how to play as, a, as this character. Now, one thing I have to know about Dawn Gate is that, well, it's it has a lot of differences or some differences in the, in the map structure from other MOBAs, and I'll show them to you in a second. Alright, so this is what the game looks like, so sort of like LOL-like graphics. Uh, I have, where am I? I don't even know. I have skills to do so I'm, I'm gonna choose this first. Spawn. Spikes, alright, sure. And I believe I can buy some, so the shops here are really well organized. You can actually, um, it shows you some of the items 
uh, right here and also right here, offensive items, utility items, and defense items. And these are the legendary items that you could try to strive for when the game starts. Um, okay, so I'm gonna... Juices? Minions have spawned. So this is me right here. I think I'm some sort of a turtle spiky thing. <sighs> Uh, now, the cool thing about this is that the maps are a little bit different. So you can see there's all these things as well that you have to capture, and these provide gold to you. So there's actually a new Somewhere. level new level of strategy in this game. So there's four of these well things that, once captured, will provide gold to your team. If you capture all four, you'll get more gold. If you capture just one, you'll get a little bit gold. And so this gives you a new kind of a goal. So you have to try to... Ooh, oh, oh, shit. oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Son of a beach! You'll break your teeth fighting the hand that made you. All right, so that didn't go well. What, what's my skill? Oh, that's all. That's all I do. All right, go. Juices. All right, so I just got to level six, and I got all my four of my skills. Uh, still learning how to play this character. There's also a, a, three skills here that will basically give you like a 10 minute cooldown extra skill, usually healing or something like that. Sort of oh shit, that was not cool. Alright, so I died. Uh, I'm gonna buy one of the items. So I started going toward this chain, which will give me more power, more mastery. So I'm gonna get this item. And this is my plus 30 power plus 10 attack. mastery, which will give me a little bit more attack. Is under attack. And An ally has been slain. So far we're not doing so well, they destroyed our tower. Your binding has been destroyed. Yeah, that's not cool. So this game is awesome in the sense that there's a lot more strategy to it than in Don't LOL. Understand. There's a lot more different nuances and a lot of different additions like, yes, you do need to worry about your gold now. You need to worry about your character's power and know your character really Whoa. well as well. Yep. And so, in that sense, I think it's actually superior to LOL and Dora, uh, Dora 2. Um, there's a few things in here that could use some work, like for example, I definitely would like to see more characters. And um, uh, there's also no feature that um, Dota has where you have a character that helps you, uh, helps you with um, getting your items that you just purchased. So that would be nice to have, like someone could to deliver your, um, your goods. But other than that, though, this is a pretty awesome game. Like, I'm actually really enjoying this. So I'm gonna try to show you some more gameplay. Uh, I, I don't think we're doing so well so far. We're actually kind of losing. Now, one thing I do want to mention is the type of people that do play this game. And I gotta tell you, there is a lot of flame going on in the um, in the chat right now because well, obviously I'm not doing so well. And there's a few of us that are still new to this game because it's still. It's basically still um, a, a beta game. And some of these guys, they are just going and going on a rant how everyone should just go kill themselves because they are sucking at this game. And they're funny. It's funny. It's funny to read some of these... Um, some of these comments. It's just so hilarious. But yeah, so be aware that a lot of people that play this are a little bit immature. It's just you need to be aware that it's even... I would even say more immature than LOL in a sense because... This is a free game. It's still being tested. It's An interesting. Enemy has been shut down. Um, it's it's just Dude, fun to hurt. read, though. So this one guy is going on a rant Body about how <laughs> how he uh, thought that other player was enemy captured your spirit. Well. Should stop playing this game because it's his first time playing.